Recently, I tried out the Hearts of Iron 4 beta patch that changed some basic game mechanics. The main ones change are combat width, various era naval changes, tank armor, AI templates, and super heavy tanks. I decided to play the United States to try out the patch because what I really wanted to check out was the Air and Navy changes. With the beta patch, many more research options have been added in the Air tab, with most importantly, survivability studies now being a 1939 tech. Air launch torpedoes are now their own branch with three types. There are also AP bombs now, which do more damage to ships, making carrier casts more effective. There are also more types of bombs and cannons too. In the gameplay footage in the background, you can see that my navy wiped the Japanese navy, partially due to my stronger cast and partially to stronger navs. What I do for navy currently, which is build carriers, light attack, light cruisers, and torpedo destroyers, seem to continue to work well with the patch, but I could also try to build more battleships, which I often neglect to do. On screen now were the carrier planes I used during the Pacific War, and the improved planes that did not see combat due to no na enemy navy to go against. By looking at the stats, carrier cast I believe is the meta now, as they do more damage and have more naval targeting than the naval bombers. However, my carrier cast design is also more expensive, but that is a price I am willing to pay for stronger carriers. The combat with changes I did not really feel an effect from. Most of my issues was me forgetting to change my template. My 20 with tank division kinda sucks now despite being able to roll over the AI in the past. This might also be due to the new AI templates. Despite tank armor being buffed, my support anti-air was still able to pierce the entirety of an AI tank division still. I remember hearing 26 combat width being a good combat width from early discussions, and that is what I based my entire army around. These perform decently well, but I also have a feeling that 21 widths could still work well. Since I never really used 40 or 42 widths before, this change didn't really affect me too much. But the new AI templates are slightly hard to beat with the trash divisions I used to use. To sum things up, I really like the new beta patch. Sure, I didn't use super heavies, but there are multiple videos showing of how decent they are, and how late game you are more than likely forced to put an anti-tank battalion in your divisions to counter them. The air changes are really nice. Navy still feels the same for the most part, and the army changes are fine. My one problem is that the US and maybe some other countries do not start with air launch torpedoes research stall rate despite having naval bomber designs. But otherwise, I am completely satisfied with the patch. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, you know the deal, and this is Jonathan800 signing out.